Hi, I am Ole and I am a PhD student in physical oceanography here at AVI. Currently I am on board the research vessel Polarstern on its way to Punta Arenas. But we spent the last eight weeks at the Weddell Sea researching the Southern Ocean. With this video I want to show you some of the scientific as well as social life here on board. Usually work is scheduled all around the clock, but in the end everything on this ship is controlled by the weather. This weather is typical for our cruise I would say, but we also had really nice days with sunshine, very dry and temperatures of minus 20 degrees, but also gale force winds, six meter waves and no visibility due to sea spray. As a physical oceanographer, one of the main tasks here on board is to help with the deployment and recovery of moorings. A mooring consists of a bottom weight, multiple in instruments and floating devices stringed on a rope. The total length can exceed multiple kilometer kilometers. In this cruise or expedition, we deployed moorings of 5,800 meters length. That's longer than a jogging round. The other task is doing casts or measuring profiles with this thing, a CTD. CDD stands for conductivity temperature depth. By lowering it down on a cable from a winch, we can measure the physical properties of the water throughout the water column. At the same time, by closing these bottles, providing important water samples for the marine chemists. So, at the end of each cast, the dance of the CTD starts. to have some free time in between your work, you can spend it, for example, in the gym. Or in the pool. At the moment, this is very calm in here, because we're in the ice. But if the waves are outside, the steps get higher, the ones in here get larger as well. There is even a sauna on Polarstern. But because we are right in the front of the ship, it can get quite loud here, if we are breaking ice, just as we are doing right now. If you want an environment as relaxed as the sauna, but less sweaty, you can spend time in the Red Saloon, the living room of the scientist. Here you can play games, have a close access to the coffee machine, and sit in the most comfiest chair of the ship. On some days, the onboard bar called Zillatal is open. We had many themed evenings, including a crazy hat party, but I think the most memorable evening was the charity auction. With the highest bid of 200 euros, in total, 3,400 euros came together for a children's hospital in Rostock, Germany, including 25 euros for Marcus Horak's old boots, boots. I myself bought this joystick from the winch control room. Oh, hi there. I'm a postdoc here on the research vessel Polar Stern with Ola. Uh, with my colleague Malta here, 
We look after the uh, the uh, camera sled that we tow behind the ship to film the seafloor. Perhaps you know me from my famous, very famous paper on the fish nest distributions recently published in Current Biology, one of the top journals in our field. So I'll, I'll show you some of the ship, and I'm going to show you now the uh, cabins. Is it still working? Yeah, so here we have the cabin. We have one bed here, another bed here. We usually have a view of the ice, but we've just finished our research, so now at the moment we've just got some normal sea. And uh, yeah, so here we got the visitors thing, and we've got a spare emergency bed here. Sometimes we have three people here if we pick someone up from, Neu uh, from Neumeyer Station. We have not enough plug sockets for modern research, so we all bring our spaghetti plugs everywhere. We've got a little fridge. You know that, so things like this, of course. You can bring some literature you might want. I, as a cultured individual, bring a book of poetry, um, but you can bring whatever you like. We have a small bathroom here. En suite for the two of us. It's very pleasant, and it's a nice temperature in here. So, that are the cabins. This is the cabins that we have on Polar Stern. So, uh, if you get the chance to come and join us down here, that would be great. Or up there. But the best place to spend your time is undeniably outside. Look at the Antarctic landscape, or the icebergs, the snow petrels, emperor and Adali penguins, minke whales, humpback whales, the cracking off of the ice if we go through it. So, in short, it's simply fantastic being here and to be able to take a look at this wild nature.